you can't have a conversation about Texas fishing without mentioning Lake Fork, legendary Lake Fork. Like in March, April, and May on this lake, you have out of state plates all the way from Minnesota, Michigan, New York, all these bass fishermen come to Lake Fork to catch big bass. Toyota Texas Fest is in October this year, end of October, early November this year. So uh, the fishing is a lot tougher. Um, despite the hundreds of thousands, millions of bass in here, um, anywhere from four to 10 pounds, getting a bite will be tough. It's, uh, it's again, it's that late summer, early fall kind of transition period and getting a bite is, is just tough. That's just how it is um, in, you know, in November in North Texas. All right, let's go build a jig. She gave me the keys of the shop. Let's have some fun. Zinc spins. I have a, after seeing that crawdad on the ramp, after practice today, I got this color in mind I want to build. Green pumpkin, blue, orange. Seeing that crawdad on the ramp, we're gonna build a jig. I've been out here on Lake Fork in, in March, April, and May where, I'm not kidding, every point, every cut, um, every piece of cover on the lake has got a bass fisherman on it, but everyone's catching fish. Everyone's catching three, four, five, six pounders. It's, it's the craziest thing. Texas Parks and Wildlife does a phenomenal job at, at uh, you know, really, preserving this fishery um, you know whether they stock this place with you know Florida strain bass like they have decades and decades ago uh, or implementing a slot limit where you know those four five six pound healthy fish stay in the lake you're not allowed to keep those fish um, here in this tournament um, Texas Fest this is gonna be my third uh, Toyota Texas Fest event here uh, on Lake Fork and um, I've weighed in several overs. Last year at Texas Fest on this lake, I weighed a 30 pound bag. Um, I had a really good finish the last time I was on this lake. So a um, lot of big fish here. I've got a lot of history here. This is the last tournament of the 2020 Bassmaster Elite Series season. So I'm gonna go out with a bang. I'm throwing big baits, doing what I love to do. Um, this is gonna be an absolute grinder tournament, but it doesn't matter how many bites you get. The only thing that matters is what's on the scoreboard at the end of the day. Catch way release format here this week. So anything goes, there's no slot limit. 14 inches and above um, is, a, is a keeper this week. So it's the end of the year. We're just trying to make the classic, but I want to win a truck. And if I catch five fish trying to win a truck, then we're gonna do pretty well this week. That's Steve from Bass. Um, it's gonna be another grinder. It's weird how we, um, as we travel westward, uh, we are kind of following the funk. Uh, I myself, I'm running uh, back pockets, just kind of fall back pockets with, with bait. Let's get in the limit and then go and throw in big, big baits under docks, swim baits under docks. Uh, you, you throwing big baits? Yeah, yeah, shocker this so week. I know, first. wherever there's eight, nine, and ten pounders lurking, that, that's, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. Stay on there. Yeah. That's our spot, Johnny. <sighs> Two pounds, seven ounces. Two seven? Two seven. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, I just had one. Dude, they want something fast. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the next creek over. It's a long, rough idle back there, just a heads up. That all right, that was a good stop because it's tough right now. I didn't have a bite here in practice, but I was like, I burned through here real quick. It just looks too good, man. All the sparse grass, wind blowing. 
dirt, stumps, no other creeks in this lake right now like these two. There's one, big one. Oh! Okay, two nine. Worth the idle back here. I could do this all day, man. Yeah. Two two. Gotta get rid of that one nine and then giant. Gotta try punching this right quick. Overnight lows are getting cooler. It only takes one swing to freaking win a truck. It's like how is there not a, like an eight or nine pound? We're on Lake Fork, dude, and this is the only grass in the lake. Stay on there. Stay on there. Stay on there. Come here. Ah, come here. Still there. Still there. Oh, stay on there. I got it. Ah. <laughs> it ain't that big. It ain't that big, but we got it. <laughs> Three pounds, nine ounces. That was fun. <laughs> All right, let's move. Gosh, look at all that bait, dude. Megan. Yep. Three ten. <laughs> Big old chunker. We need that one, kids. There's one. That's a good one. Two ten. Mag draft. Come here. Come here. Yep. And smoke the draft. 314. Big old fat sucker. We gotta go. I don't wanna be late. 1715. It's a start today, man. We're still missing a big bite. Are you basically trying to burn that area down today and tomorrow? This area right here with the overnight lows, they want to be on the fall feed and I've seen evidence of that. I'm seeing bait fish being sprayed all over the place and there's a lot of like just solid fish in these backwater areas. This cast, that cast, and that cast and that's like they come in here and wave, yeah. To get you over and get you some bonus coverage of Texas Angler of some renown, the one and only Chris Saldane. There's one. Stay on there. Stay on there. Yeah. Woo, it comes on. Yeah. Bam. Gotta stay at it. Dude. That was awesome. Four point four pounds, two ounces. Four two. Heck yeah. All timing, man. They're just roaming around in schools in this channel. And when they decide to eat, they all eat together. Yep. Two pounds, two ounces. Two, two. Dos, dos. Two, two, two. Number two, 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 two. They don't want to eat it. They have to eat it because I'm running it right by their face. Dang it. I got to change angles. I'll slowly move up and then cast back that way. 
I like ripped it to the surface and it ate it off the surface. One pound, seven ounces. Okay. It's all the turns and then where it comes to a lip, a ledge, is where every single one of them are biting. That's, that's all they do. When that wind blows, they come in extra thick. One more cast and then we're gonna boogie, fellas. Do something else, boys. And now that wind's blowing a little bit. I don't want to run all the way over to the docks. So, I might just try something, just something else. What that is, I don't know. Figure it out. So I can go for an eight pounder right about now. Do one hot lap and then go run bridges the rest of the day. It'll, it'll only take me an hour and a half to run the rest of the bridges. Big and giant. Oh my God, stay, stay on there, stay on there, stay on there. Like gonzoed it, gonzoed it. Like gone, gone. Like, look at this. <laughs> Steve! Scale is zero fish. That's 514 skinny. Let's see how long it is. I just wanna see how long it is. 24. God, look how big the head Dude, is. Dude, like smoked it so hard. All right, we gotta go. Just four today. Gosh. Trait surprised me. She wasn't here and she just got here. It's our anniversary today, five years. And she brought this little guy. Come here, Nebo. Come here. Come here, dude. Come me. Come here, Nebo. Hi, come here. Oh, hello, buddy. Hey, Nebo. Oh, hey, Nebo. Look, at, look at you. Oh, look at you. Hi, hi. Hi, and then there's Johnny too. There's Johnny hey, with the buddy. camera. A two-time Bassmaster winner, originally from San Jose, now makes his home in the classic spot in Fort Worth, Texas. Get loud for the Zal Dangerous one, Chris Zaldane. 16 pounds, three ounces, gives you 47.11, puts you in seventh place. I know you want to go tomorrow. I don't know how it's going to work out, but the good news is you know you're going to the Classic, and you know you probably get to stay at home for it, which uh, is a very rare opportunity. Look at all my, these are all friends and now neighbors. Who else is going to the Classic? I know I'm going. Are you guys going? That's awesome. I can't wait for that event, Fort Worth. You know, I'm, I'm trying to claim the, the home lake thing, but I don't want the home lake curse. So next year in March at Lake Roberts, uh, we're gonna give it all we got. We'll see everyone there. But uh, you know, I love fishing in Texas, love the state of Texas. Thank you all for following along all year. Thank you to Bass, Toyota, TPWD. You guys do a fantastic job with this event. It was an awesome, awesome year. Learned a lot. And uh, thank you all for watching the Zal Dangerous episode. Bassma Bassmaster YouTube channel. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I'll see you guys next year. Appreciate it. Thanks. Let's hear it for Chris Aldane. Well, the wrap's coming off, which means the season's a wrap. It was an awesome 2020 season. We made the classic. This boat gets to go to a brand new Skeeter owner. Got a, got a lot of good memories. A lot of big fish boat flipped over this gunnel right here. So. We finished Toyota Texas Fest in 13th place. I think we finished in the top 20 in points overall, which means we made the classic in Fort Worth. Uh, needless to say, that's gonna be the event I look forward to most uh, next year. So uh, it'll be a couple of uh, couple months of R&R &R chilling out, get rid of this boat, get a new one, re-wrap, re-rig, start that process all over. But all in all, it's an awesome year. Appreciate you guys following along.